So let's now uh, make a demonstration of using PHSTAT for performing the chi-square test of independence with the two examples we have uh, in our slides. Start with the sharing of the screen uh, and go to my Excel. So as I indicated during the class, so we could calculate this using normal functions in Excel as well. Just need to calculate expected frequencies and then differences between observed and expected. Take the squares, divide by Fe. But we could also use uh, the chi-square test here under multiple sample tests. So first it will create us a certain working area, okay? And we have to provide the number of rows and number of columns. Now the level of significance, let's leave it at 005, but we could do, uh, we could also enter any level of significance we like, or we, we can change it once the worksheet is prepared. So in our first example, we have a two by two. Okay, let's not give it a title for the time being. So now, a, and there's a note here, just enter. So these, uh, these uh, levels here. Uh, so yeah, you could name them. So I remember from our example now, okay, first example using left hand versus right hand and uh, the difference between males and females. So you could name them as well, okay? But once you enter these, uh, these numbers in the blue area, expected frequencies are calculated and you see they're using the dollar sign. This is something I instructed before, dollar D6 times D dollar eight. So when you go to the right, D doesn't change, okay? But C changes, so you can notice it right there. I'll just remain on these cells a bit to show you what kind of formula. So actually when you write the formula once here, and then when you paste it, you get the required results. So what this is doing is basically, let's look at what is available in D6. So this is grand total, D6 is grand total. Uh, so, sorry, D6 is number of, I think in this case, number of males. So this, this is D6, okay? So the expected frequency corresponding to R1C1 is actually found by multiplying the, uh, the row sum, which is 120, times the column sum divided by grand total. So let's look at that formula one more time, D6, which is here, D8, which is here, row sum times column sum divided by D8, dollar D, dollar eight, so that doesn't change throughout, so that's 300. So once you actually write the formula like this using those dollar signs, okay, and the first one corresponding to the, the, the row sum. And when you go to the right, it shouldn't change, but when it goes down, it should change. Okay, made sure by this dollar sign in the front. Okay, so when you paste it, uh, and then you can get the required results. So these are the FEs now. So uh, now I'm just gonna cut this out because it hides behind the calculations also here calculations FO minus FE, and then FO minus FE squared divided by FE, D13. So again, once you create this on your own, you have the contributions to the chi-square statistic of each of the cells, the four cells. Now, when you add all of these, that is your 0 0.75, that is your chi-square statistic, sum F13 to G14, okay? The p-value is found by chi-square dist and using uh, actually chi-square statistic and degrees of freedom, okay? Degrees of freedom is also here uh, uh, given by, uh, calculated by a formula, okay? And that is the number of columns and number of rows are given here, okay? So you can find different degrees of freedom by changing them. Okay, so yourself. Okay, so level of significance, this is already given. So we can change it. So let's make it 001. So the critical value now increases, but still we get do not reject the null hypothesis. 
So that's a simple example. And there was also another one. So let's also look at that uh, later in the slides. Now this was a four by three. Okay, so let's again use 0 0.05 and let's let it create a four by three. This was class standing versus, this was class standing versus number of meals, class standing being freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, number of meals, 10 times uh, none, 10 times a week and 20 times a week. So the numbers, we have to enter them one by one. So you see, you can create any sheet with any number of rows uh, and any number of columns. So, and now let's enter these again. Okay. Six. So now one more time, uh, calculations are, so when you create the first cell here, again, the first row sum dollar in front times column sum dollar in the middle divided by uh, double dollar signs, the grand total, that shouldn't change. So once you write this and you paste it all the way, you ca calculate expected frequencies. Calculations are all given here. This time it's a four by three. So three times two is six degrees of freedom, critical value, D value, chi-square statistic, okay? And basically, again, it's a do not reject the null hypothesis. So you can, again, uh, use any number of uh, rows and any number of uh, columns with this uh, pH stat functionality. Okay, let's come back here and I will upload this uh, after class.